shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Come on. That's good word. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Yeah. He's a mirror. Right. And I think that also applies not only that, but also when a nation. Don't forget who you are. You know that time was uh, back in Obama days, I think of pride of it, about being exceptional. Exceptionalism. Uh, remember that being we, we're exceptional or exceptionalism. Uh, we, we, we're more better than anybody else. And that's that I think that's forgetting who we were. You know? Yeah, that was pride before the fall. <laughs> that that is true, isn't it? That's exactly what happens, isn't it? You fall. Right now, we are the number one leading in, in COVID-19. Yeah. And we wanted to, we supposed to be the, the leader of the free world. We had a million cases in five days, in five days of uh, COVID-19 cases. So they tell us. So, well, I'm going to go with this. Obviously, I'm not going to, unless I got proof otherwise, yes, this it's a million cases. Of, uh, I'm agreeing with you. So they tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Is people dying over two thousand people a day? That's just there's the number one killer. <laughs> can, can can I ask a question? Because because this has been the number one killer is a virus that was here before that virus got here. Yeah. The, and that was that was the virus that was put in put in us. What is it? See? From from the first fall. Oh, see? That, you talk about the original it's pandemic. The virus. <laughs> <laughs> that is the pandemic right there. Woo! <laughs> the first pandemic. Exactly. Exactly. Which 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 wave are we in now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the man last time he said we're on a wave on a wave. Oh, I, I'm I'm looking here in second thessalonians and i've been wanting to ask this question uh what what is the the difference between deceit and delusion hey, hey bitch i was gonna say the delusion is where you actually get images and visions and stuff like that you know signs you know deception you know like a, uh, uh, a musician or one of those guys do magic magic tricks it looks yeah it looks matter of fact if you remember in the revelation the uh antichrist is going to try to play the same thing that happened to jesus that he died and now he's alive again okay but that I only bring that up is because the Antichrist deals in deceit. Yeah. God. Are you looking at words in the text? God is bringing great illusion. Right. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. For those who are Christians. Look well, strong, strong delusion. Let me, let me at, correct myself. He's looking at, uh, let me show it here. He's looking at. That's in 11. Well, I think they're really first cousins because deception, uh, obviously, is you believe in what you think one thing to be true is not true. If you're delusional, yeah. then if you're delusional, in my opinion, you also think that which is untrue is true or just the opposite. Yeah. You know? See, I and, think they're closely and, and related. I think they are. I think one is deceit is something that you believe. Deceit is something that you 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 mistake. Well, yeah. So well, delusion, delusion. You you see a delusion, or or you know you see a thing. Yeah. That isn't deceit. You believe a thing that isn't. And so you're saying one is external, one is internal. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Deceit. Let me throw something. Deceit is something that somebody is an action somebody's doing against somebody else. Yeah. Keep them from seeing something. Yes. Yeah. 
That's what deceit is. Yeah, and delusion is something within. Yes, you generate yes. you. Yes. You personally generate you. Yes. Delusion. Yeah. Which makes sense because God deals with the inner man. Amen. Amen. And Satan can only be influenced this flesh. Wow. And then keep it right, he says and the soul. delusion. Wow. He said he says strong delusion. Here's a definition. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what the definition is. <laughs> what what did it say? Can you bear that? I can't make it. Easy. In idios idiosyncratic belief or impression that is firmly maintained despite being contradicted by what Woo. is generally accepted as reality Woo. or rational argument, typically <laughs> a symptom of mental disorder. Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> listen, up, listen. What you need to do is go to the strong numbers and look up that word because that word in, in the Greek is going to have a different flavor. Yeah, too. and that, that's what I thought he was doing. Let me, yes. let me see. And I like to know the two words. What's 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 in the Greek? Yeah, let me in both let me, for both words. Let me uh, check this out. Let's hey, hey, see. How I'll it. bring it. I'll bring it up on uh, the court. Is it delusion? G seventeen fifty three. Uh. Efficiency, energy, or maybe a strong I'm effectual bringing, work. I'm bringing can be, uh, Maybe I got the wrong one. Yeah, I'm bringing a sword right now. Let's see here. Uh, okay, there it is. It's another, right? A wandering, a straying about, one led astray from the right way, roams hither and thither. Metaphorically, mental strain, error, wrong opinion relating to morals or religion, error, error, which shows itself in action, a wrong mode of acting, error that which leads into error, deceit, or fraud. Well, now, oh. And the origin is from uh, 4108, which is uh, objectively fraudulent uh, uh, subjectively a strain from ortho ortho orthodoxy orthodox or piety to see 4108 fraudulent strain from orthodoxy or piety okay well then, okay let me just show you what I think, how you can get this, what, how, how that word is being used. If you go back to the text, though, you look at the text, you'll see that this is what God says. One second. Okay, so this nine, verse 9 says, even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan. So, first thing you, you need to understand is that the source behind all of this, you know, when you, in terms of the key words in the text, you got to look at the source behind this and the working behind this is Satan. Yes. So he's working with all powers and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. So the source now is evil, it's dark, it is, it is, you know, it is everything that light and righteousness is not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because they receive not the truth. <laughs> now has to be when you go back to that definition. In that definition, <coughs> straying away from a straight line or something, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, so if the truth then is the straight line, it's the straight line God has chosen. Yeah. And he does not receive the love of the truth. It means that now they're straying away from the path. Yeah. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. <laughs> and because because it's in. Uh, because they receive not the love of the truth, yeah. that they might be saved. Now God has set truth in front of them as a straight path to His salvation. It, yes, right. He did. Right. I'm the way to do. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they 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 they, they have, you don't want the straight path. Yeah. So how about about how about if I send you off on Broadway? Yeah. Woo! 
where anything goes. <laughs> All that's to send you off out there with people you, you know. You know what, though? That is true. The truth. Once you need the truth, now, see, once you need the truth, if what God is after is, unlike us, God is able to discern what's going on in their heart. Woo. And he discerns that there is no law for the truth in him. Woo! Woo! Being of darkness rather it's than... Like, it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like uh, what that verse about Jacob have our love and Esau mm. have our hate. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But you see, it confused on that. I think what God is saying is, look, unlike you, I sit outside the circle of time. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I don't see that Esau it will never turn yeah. to me. Yeah. He ain't going to never have a heart to trust in me. No matter what I do, no matter how I come at him, he is never going to come to himself. From the womb. But Jacob, though he's a crook, though he's jacked up, no, he's a Trump. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I get him in the right place and strike him with truth, he gonna be he gonna humble himself. He's gonna realize the air of his way. He's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. That's the key in it. Having- That's what God is having. See, God knows that all of us are jacked up. And God knows how to deal with all of us in such a way that he brings us to that place where we cannot escape any longer. And we'll, we enter into an inescapable moment with God. It happened with Manasseh. Manasseh would make Trump look like a, 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 a Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. But when God got Manasseh to the place where Manasseh knew he, was, he had messed up, I, I think he knew all along. But he brought him to a place where he realized I brought all this on myself. All myself, yeah, yeah. And then Manasseh. See, that- for us, right. see, I'm glad when I first read that story about Manasseh, I got mad. I said, God, you, you let him do all that evil stuff. He said, You'll not be mad, or you'll be glad. Woo! <laughs> because see, I'm a God of mercy. I'm a God of long suffering and compassion. Mm. All I want you to do is be brought to the place where you realize that you are a dual creature. You just like Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. He is the son of man. Yes, sir. He is God and man perfectly joined together. But you, when you're born of Adam, you only got the man part. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're incomplete. You're not whole. And you will never be whole until there's a God part joining you. Mm. And that's why you got to be one from above. Yes, sir. And so we realize that we can never be whole in and of ourselves. And it did that we look out, outside of ourselves. And we look to God and say, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be forever be sick, forever be blind, forever be lame, forever be, lack wholeness until I'm reunited to you in a relationship with oneness. Hmm. Wow. That is sad. That is true. Yeah. So these, these people, these people, he, 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 he is the still sent to their heart and the son that, look, that, they don't want to be whole. They don't want to. Be. They don't want truth. They don't want that narrow path that leads to self. So, so if at some point now, Romans says, because they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, woo, at some point God will choose to turn your reprobate mind. Woo. At some point God says, okay, how about if I just give you what you want? <laughs> Didn't that happen to Ebenezer? King huh? Ebenezer. Didn't he, didn't he do something like that? Well, he really, King he, Ebenezer. Didn't, didn't he? He, he repented, though. He, yeah. he started talking about all the greatness that he did and then yeah. had to realize. How they compare. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Why do I always get that? Anyway, yeah, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, he started talking about all the greatness that he done. Uh, and God brought him to himself. <laughs> Until he realized that it was not of his his doing, yeah. he had to start giving glory to God. I and I that truly opened my eyes to some things, Woo. especially with Trump. Right. Well, I mean, people, right? Gotta gotta Jim want to defend him a little bit. And that's that's okay. And and I think you should. It's it's really man, human nature of man, right? That's the problem. You can get off to yourself. As a- you can think about others. And that's that's the balance, right? The Christ died for others. I don't check this out, Pastor. I don't necessarily want to defend him. I just want us to be neutral on the position because that's not our focus. And I don't want people to be turned off 
that may need this forum because it appears that we're politically one-sided. Yeah. That's my only purpose. Amen. Amen. And that's what I'm saying. It's a human nature thing if we don't watch yeah. out for it. It's a human nature piece. Well, you know? it's, it's a, it's, in this case, it's the fallen, corrupt nature. <laughs> a man. <laughs> How man can do it right. That is being trapped. Yeah. And I think, you know, like, uh, even with the people who don't, and I'm not talking about just him, I'm talking about the people that don't even want to accept the, the election results. When they said stolen, they didn't, they, what do you mean by stolen? But as in, from my perspective, they're just saying is, somebody's taking something away from me. I don't think it's elected. I think it's something else. I think it's greater than the election. Uh, you know, when we, when we look at it, can we say it's about the good? We just have to be talking about the political realm. That's not political. That's blinded. That's spiritual blinded. If you don't know God, you can't know the truth. Yeah. When we, when, we, when we look at the realities of it, though, is it possible that it could be true? What's when we that? know that this, it, 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 it's corrupt, is the corruption possible on either side of the fence, and how grand is it? How big does it have to be? But, There's so much that we've gone through historically, even to the bombing of the towers, even to the Second, I mean, second World War. It was this uh, questions about were they aware that Pearl Harbor was going to be born? Because the sentiment of the people were not with the war until after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So there's there's a lot of manipulation that takes place. But we know over over the grand scheme of things that the, the, the agenda of God is being carried out, that his plan of salvation is actually being <laughs> rocked in our in our very sight. Yes, men are corrupt. Yes, they're gonna consolidate the corruptness. Yes, they're going to yield the corruptness to the stand of Christ. And then I and the idea is that he be uh, worshiped as God. So we're seeing this take place. But can we say the Democratic Party is corrupt and the Republican Party is not or, or vice versa? And I don't know we can't say that. Well, let's talk about it. It's human nature. It's human nature. Yeah. Before you got saved, did you know truth? No. <laughs> no I didn't. Before you got saved, did you know truth? I did. What you did, you called truth for whatever benefited you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what my job was. Ooh, that's the truth. That's the truth. Right. What that's benefits right. you. So, that's so, <laughs> so look, except yeah. the, 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 uh, the election results is saying that does not benefit me. That's legit. So are these people standing on faith if right. they believe come on it's too many of them to think we, we got because to you know I, there, i'm right? trying to figure this this out because i, I heard <laughs> someone uh yesterday said a, a lady uh they were showing how uh, uh many of the republicans here in georgia still have their signs up or still protesting and a person said so is there a chance for Trump to lose. And she said, there is a chance, but it's very small. And so their faith in in, in this man being reelected is great. And, and you can't deny it. it. Because what they see, the, the numbers they see, they, they don't they don't regard them. They really are stepping out on faith. I believe. I believe Christ would say <laughs> that they are really <laughs> stepping out on faith. Yeah, and, 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 and that becomes the question too because they did. I mean, if, if he said that the virus is going to be gone by Easter, was he speaking, you know? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with and, what he said. Those things I'm talking about. Not, as though they were, was he operating in faith then? What, what I'm saying is that we constantly admonished by the scripture, instructed by scripture, not to walk by, by sight. It's by faith that we walk in. Would Whatever you, God says is true, then that's that's what's true. I would, and we will totally basically yeah. discount our, our observation and just receive the word of God. That's faith. What faith are they are? <clears> well, <throat> listen up. Faith has a particular definitive definition. It does. Yeah, faith, go ahead. You can't call faith. Anything where God does not work, yeah, cannot oh, be faith. Right, it got faith, be faith in God. Faith, 
aim there. Okay, well then let me re re rephrase that. Then their their belief, their <laughs> have a strong belief that this man is president and they will not accept anything contrary to that. Not even facts. Okay, yeah. well, let, let me help you out now. When I say, when we talk about biblical faith, biblical faith, James and Paul both said that real faith will always result in God or whoever you are trusting that source must do something. <clears throat> if yeah. you're trusting the source to do something and that source doesn't do anything, they say that faith is dead. Yeah. 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 So, and in biblical faith, when you put your trust in what God, in God, Come it on. means God, but the, the creator, the maker of mankind must do something. Come yeah. on. Come on. Now, if you got yeah. your faith in some other source, so, so you can't have faith in another source, but that's not biblical faith. You can help yeah. people sell. And, and I understand that. Prepare, but 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 we have to distinguish what source is being targeted when we use that word. Okay. 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 And and I and I understand that. So let's say they go to the electoral college and these folks say Trump gets all their electoral college votes and this man ends up being declared the president. What is what what does that put everybody? So is this man uh projecting is I mean is he is he fulfilling a self-proclaimed prophecy or, or something in in that matter? Now I know that uh pastors showed us that the that that uh electors have to vote for the popular that they have to vote the uh what the majority of the the population says right but you know there's always that chance because i don't put nothing past man so it's just there's a possibility and, and anyway it, it really doesn't matter because it's just a hypothetical so it doesn't need to be answered let's move on to something else i think the conversation is more like saying why do people believe uh opposite of what the outcome of the election results are. But why, why, why do we believe things that we don't see? What it did? Uh, because it's because it's faith. Why do we go against all tangible senses yeah. and take a position of something that, by every account, is not true because of faith? And how many of us have placed faith in things, pray for things, and believe it was God, but then in the end results, it turned not to be. Yeah. Well, we missed it. We missed him that time. Yeah. Come on, let's just call it what it is, gentlemen. We're no different. Yeah. There, there, there's a, I mean, the country still was founded on something. These people believed that they were right and they pulled it off. Or they did it where they felt they were right or wrong. It had to do, when I was a young man, this is racist. The worst said the white was right. If the white is right. So the soapers believed that they had the power to make everybody conform to their version of truth. That's what truth was. Now that's what truth is. And so maybe they're operating in that guise. And how true is that? You keep saying something, keep saying something, keep saying something, keep saying something people get believe it and respond in accordance with that belief. Uh, so I think what, we, what we're actually looking at is where we're basing our, our concept of reality. Yeah. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes into the Father but by me. So in that, that statement, Jesus establishes, to me, his sovereignty as far as the reality itself is concerned. Right. And we are here to manifest that reality. Our job is to be given to us to manifest the reality, the sovereignty of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many gods out there. And, and a lot of us perceive ourselves to be God. And this man perhaps right. perceives himself to be God. Really but when coming up against like the you. one true living, but when coming up against the one true living God, we should fail. And and I think that's that's what's that's what's being manifested even now. If your if your truth don't lie with God's truth, then you lie. And that's God's and, truth. And you're right. And it is a reality. And the fact that, and let's be honest, I mean I mean what you're saying, it's a reality that's different from this one that we would call actuality. Yeah. It's a different reality, period. Yeah. And so if it don't line up with God's reality, yeah. not our reality, well, not our perception 
of God, but God's reality, because it's a different reality, yeah. then it's not of faith. But sometimes we miss it, and what we thought was yeah. God wasn't God. And that's <laughs> us, and that's human nature. Yeah, and that's is. every human on earth. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with you, Jimmy. Um, which thing. is the go go ahead. Uh I don't say this I'll be done. The, the thing we need to understand is that a lie also has this reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now yeah. it's not the same with God. You see, a lie, a lie has this reality. Yeah. <laughs> but not God's that, but not God's reality. See, that's the beauty, that's the danger in this thing. Truth has a reality. And, and, and when Jesus said, I am the way and I'm the truth and the life, what he is saying is all divine realities find its source in me. He's not saying that all those false lies, are, that, that stuff don't find its root in him. He is saying, I am the root of all that is divine, all that is root, that is of God, all that is ordained of God, it finds its source, its, its root is in me. I am the embodiment of everything that God has purposed from the foundation of the world. Right. That's one of the I'm gonna be honest. Bishop, I'm gonna do something I've never been, I've never done. I'm gonna disagree with you. I'm gonna disagree with you on this point. A lie is not a lie. It's not reality. It's not. It's a lie. That's why it's called a lie. It's not reality. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Okay. If if you believe that you are God, will that not produce a reality? But that's a lie. It's not reality, though. Hey, let me throw. Hey. You missed my point. Let me throw so something out there. Let me throw something out there. Hold on. Well, let me, well, let me say one thing. Find an expression action and a way of behavior in this world if you believe that you are god in the world they say perception is truth but it's really not yeah. it may be your truth but it's not truth because for truth to be truth it has to be truth be a be you know a what i'm saying but so okay, well, let me ask you a question. so you don't believe that satan is a reality oh he is a reality God told us that. That hey, wasn't nothing we, we brought up. That that's he for sure. Okay. Let me let me throw something out there. Think about this. And uh well, I see where you're going because he is a lie. And the yeah, father. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris says Go ahead, bro. Talk. I'm sorry. Chris doesn't talk like hey, we keep talking about we going back to uh Jimmy. You yes, said sir. actuality. Yes, sir. Actuality should be, and this will give you a good reference around what we all talk about. Actuality is your reality based upon your action. Come on That's now. Your actuality. I, I like oh, that. Oh wow. I like that. That's a good but, one, ain't it? Your but that don't make your reality. Yes, sir. Yeah. That when we when we look at the truth of God, they're eternal. And, and they're stable. Now I think the one scripture where it says he builds his house upon my things. It's like a man who builds his house upon a, a rock, and then he talks about building on sand and how it's going to fall when the problem comes. When truths are tried over a period of time, like not to harp on anything, but when Christmas, I mean, Easter came and left, and the virus was still here, that was proven to be a lie. Yeah. It, it, it might not have been a lie the day before, <laughs> you, you know, but the day after, we could say, okay, that, that didn't manifest. I've told some lies myself. Uh -huh. it, it didn't come to pass. So what we're looking at is when Christ says something, we can bank on it, wow. and, and, and that that wow. will become wow. That will become wow. reality now. Wow. It'll be the reality <laughs> in the present, in the past, and, and, and in that's the, the that's the point that I, I wanted to bring out. The truth is eternal. A lie yeah. is temporary. Yeah. Yeah. A lie, a lie, wow. a lie wow. can exist wow. in wow. as a reality until it is Jesus. proven to be non-true. So let me so ask you a question. If I told you in your backyard there is a gold. giant gold nugget yes. Yes. in the ground. Yes. And you believe that lie. That is your reality and your yard shall yes. start changing because you're going to go start well, Let me ask you a question. You let me ask you a question. If you say if you follow what the scripture says, it says I'm healed, but then I show you the x rays and show you that big lump on your chest. Did you lie? No, no, no. I think that's a because thing. because ah. the truth said that I am healed. Thank you, but again, uh, but the truth. facts, 
and everything. But, but hold up, well, hold up. But I'm going by what you said. I'm using the same definition you just used. But okay. the facts say totally opposite. But, but, but let, let, can I interject here for just a second? Remember when we were talking about the renewing of the mind? Remember the Lord said, the just should walk by faith, not by sight. So our observations with our senses in the kingdom of God are not relevant. They shouldn't be. But they still have relevancy to our mind. I think we just still understand renewal. They died because of fear of what was going to come upon them, not because they had to die. It was something that was manifested in their mind that caused them to give up the ghost. But the reality of it was whatever it was they feared hadn't come upon them yet. Does it mean because God has healed? Look at Jesus at the wrong time. He didn't diminish his sovereignty or his divinity because the people didn't receive his healings. He said he couldn't do great works there because of their unbelief. I believe. So the power of our minds, obviously, in the course of the scripture, would negate the true reality. They are here. I be, we are I believe that. Oh, I believe that 100 percent. I believe that 100 percent. The only thing I'm saying is that I think we can't take definition of things <clears throat> and call it a definition. And then it's right when it fits our purpose or our understanding. But then say I always told something different when we lay it up against something else. I mean, if it's going to be the definition, like algebra, if you're going to substitute six for X, wherever X is, whether you like it or not, you got to put a six in there. Plain and simple. Yeah. I, I, you can't decide which one X is you like. One of the beauties, I think, of, uh, of, our, I our, creation, <laughs> of our creation is that God has given us such power in this one thing called our will and our, our own, you know, input. I don't have to believe the truth of God. And I won't, I won't benefit from that truth, but it doesn't make it a lie. And, and, and that's the thing I think with us that's so unique is that God speaks the truth. I can do anything I want to do in reference to it. But I'm gonna suffer the repercussion of it one way or the other. Okay. And, and and that's what we we're saying. We're finding out that when God says something, when the Lord Jesus Christ speaks, everybody needs to listen. Okay, let me and that's been proven. But you know what? People people listen and still misinterpret. God, God's yeah, reality a lot of times is not ours. Of course. Even though we know what his reality is, what 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 he says, what he meant can be true. So our understanding could be different. Like the word cool has different meanings to different people. If you believe cool could if be, our reality was equal to God's reality, then we wouldn't need faith. No, we would not. I, I think it communicates. But but we strive to, yes, to be equal by our relationship with God. So that is our purpose, because we know the mind of God. We have the mind of Christ. Because we have the mind of Christ. Right. Is a lie a truth until it's proven a lie? It's, it's a truth yeah, yeah. to it's those who believe it. Exactly. That's what I thought. So, which goes right back to belief, right. which is the word of God. Well, here's the question. If you're trying to come up with a definition for the word truth that holds under all circumstances and conditions, then then what you have to understand, to understand is that if Christ says he is the truth, yes, then he was saying that all the realities of God exist in him and him alone. <coughs> that does not say that they are not real uh -huh. outside of him. Because if, if you worship Buddha, if you worship Muhammad, you worship some other God, you're worshiping something that is outside of God. Mm -hmm. And it will produce a reality. It is a reality. It produces a lifestyle, it'll right. produce a worship, it'll, it'll affect what you do with your money, it'll affect how you what you what you encourage other people to do. It just so happens that that reality is outside of God. Yeah. The mere fact that there is the that Jesus said there is the prince of this world or a kingdom of this world said that there's a kingdom that exists that is not part of God's kingdom. Mm. Mm. Yeah.